not me doing TOEFL. I have so many TOEFL students right now and I don't know how I feel about it, but I think it's time for a video. I keep getting the same question, which is, Mike, I don't understand when I do the academic speaking task or the integrated speaking task, I don't understand the listening. What do I do? So today I only want to talk about the academic speaking task. This is where you have to read something, you have to listen to something, and then you have to combine the information. In this video, I'll give you one tip really, a process for how to get something from that small listening. I'll give you a tip on how to deal with it, how to deal with it so you can speak about it. But before we start, who is this video for? It's not for me. But it's not for you to get. It's what, oh. it's what. This video is for not advanced students. Okay, sometimes people who are taking the TOEFL are not ready. I've seen it many times in my career. People come to me, I mean, at the A2 level, B1 level, low B2 level, and I'm like, yeah, um, I don't think they're going to score well. They need more time, and that's okay. Other students who are high B2, C1, C2, they're going to be fine. They're going to take this test, and they're going to get those listening tasks, and they'll have no problem. They can take a few notes, and they'll be able to answer the questions just fine. This video is not for those advanced students. So if you're one of those gooses, but if you're a lower level student and you really struggle with that listening portion, this video is for you and it's okay because even though you might not score well on your first time taking the TOEFL, it's okay. Use your first time as a tool to help you be better for the next time. Use your first time to become familiar with the tasks. Become familiar with the computer software or the, you know, how to use the microphone. Become familiar with timing and how that can be an issue. And, and become familiar with the process. And yeah, for this video, I'm just talking about the IBT, the computer test, right? Okay, here's the tip. Write down as much as you can. When you get that lessening, write down as many words, as many phrases as you can. That's the tip. And you're probably thinking, that's the tip, that's it. Yes, that's it. But of course, there's more. Make sure you write down content words you understand. So nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs. Make sure you write down um, negatives like no's and not's where it's important. Make sure you write down sequence words. So first, next, finally, in conclusion, listen for those to help you organize the sections of your notes, which helps you organize the sections of the listening. The more stuff you have on your notes paper, the more you can create with that later. And yes, I'm using the word create because if you don't have the listening abilities to, you know, understand, then you will have to create something with whatever you write. We have to remember you are not only scored on the accuracy of your answer. You are scored on... Visual, please. Oh, where's my visual? Oh, man. I gotta pull it up again. Okay, hang on one second. <laughs> I'm so thirsty. <laughs> you are scored on a general description that looks like what used to be organization. It's like, is your response, you know, coherent? Is it structured well? Delivery, that's your pronunciation, your fluency. Language use, grammar and vocabulary. And topic development, is it related to the task? So that is kind of like your content also. Think about this speaking task like a puzzle, okay? You might not have all the pieces to the puzzle, but you have some or you can find some. Don't think of it as, oh my God, I didn't understand the listening. I can't answer. You can, and you have to. Okay, let me give you like kind of an example. It's not really, but I don't need a lot for this. Let's pretend I'm doing the academic speaking task. 
I read the paragraph in 45 seconds. Now I have to be ready for my little lecture. It's like one minute, two minutes on something related on a similar topic. Uh, oh my God, I don't know what they're talking about. I only hear words. Well, let me write down what I hear. I hear communication. I hear first, I hear women. I hear good at something. I hear next. I hear men. I hear mm, something. I hear difficult. I hear uh, communicate. And then it's over. If this is all I have, what do I do? You put together what you have. You have the reading, okay, so you know kind of what the topic is about. If the reading is about human communication, then the listening has to be similar. And you do have a couple content words. You have communication, you have men, you have women, difficult. Okay, the speaking portion of your answer about the listening won't be 100% accurate but it can be related because you have the reading. And it can have good grammar and vocabulary if you study and you're prepared for that. And it can have, oh, that was too much. And it can have good pronunciation and you can continuously speak for one minute without stopping. So you can have good fluency. You could control these things these parts of your score, which means you can have a reasonable score. Um, not a perfect one, but you can get a reasonable one. The other thing that's really important is time, okay? You know what to expect. You know you have one minute, so go into the test with a plan for that one minute. Now, this part of the video and my advice is a little controversial. Escándalo. Some, you know, teachers and some books say, you know, don't use a template. A template is where we, before we go into the test, we prepare some, you know, phrases or we prepare some sentences we can use with any answer. It, it almost is like memorizing, you know, English. For lower level students, I think a template is useful. You don't need to, you know, sound like you've memorized it, you know, just diva, be natural, okay? <laughs> be yourself. You have 60 seconds, so usually the first 30 seconds give to the reading. One or two sentences introduction, you know, this reading and the listening are both about the topic of X. And then spend like 20 seconds talking about the reading, a brief summary. If you break it down like that, then really you only need to use the listening portion, what you got for like 30 seconds, the second half. And actually you should have a conclusion sentence. I think that would be great. So maybe even 20 or 25 seconds. So when you think about it, you shouldn't freak out if you don't understand the academic listening because you only need it for like 20 to 25 seconds of your answer. That's a lot more doable, right? Okay, so let's get to the creating part. Um, we're gonna use our information from the reading passage, combine it with the little, few, not very many words we took from the listening and combine it to talk about the listening. Here's an example. In the listening, we hear the professor discussing men, women, people, and their uh, communication habits. He mentions that women speak more clearly and carefully than men do. On the other hand, men are not as good as women if we are talking about um, communication. In conclusion, the reading and the listening both go over um, some differences between human interaction according to genders. And this is called speaking out of my ass. It's a very important life skill, so you're welcome. I didn't really give a specific or detailed answer. I mean, anyone could have created this answer with the words men, women, and communication. It was very generic, but it was related to the topic of communication. And that's important. Whatever you create does need to be related. That's important. Um, you won't get, you won't really get a score if it's not related or if it's completely 
off topic or a different topic. So I wasn't specific, but what I did do was bam, vocabulary, discuss, habits, mentions, carefully, interaction, grammar, reduced relative clauses, comparisons, conditionals, um, adverbs of contrast, a phrasal verb, go over. And I think I spoke at a good, clear pace, period. And it can be scored because it's related to the topic. Back to the question, what do I do if I don't understand the academic listening while I'm doing my integrated speaking task? Be prepared, bitch. Come with a plan. You can do it. I promise. And I'll repeat, don't look at this task like, well, if I don't understand the lecture, I can't answer. No, no, no. Look at this task like, all right, let me get as many pieces of the puzzle as I can because those pieces are points. Uh, I should write a book, honestly. Like, who am I? Okay, I hope that makes sense. So again, write down as many words as you can. If you struggle with the listening, write down as many words as you can. Use them plus your reading information to create something where you can use grammar, vocabulary, good pronunciation, organization, and it won't be a perfect score. I feel like you're in trouble, <laughs> but it's better than only discussing the reading. It's better than only speaking for 30 seconds. And it's definitely better than not speaking at all. Oh, right on schedule. It's four o'clock. I need to go exercise for today. I hope that helps. And if you're one of my TOEFL students, um, please don't ask this question again. Thank you so much. I'm just kidding. You can ask me anything.